One of the advances that makes it possible for the severely wounded to get home alive is the creation of critical care air transport teams that turn planes like the C-17 into flying intensive care units. This equipment here, you see that we have uh, our ventilator, our IV pumps, our monitors, our defibrillators, suction canisters, all normal stuff that you see in a hospital room. This is how we augment this aircraft for a medical flight. Dr. Michael Tiger, an Air Force major and a CCAT team, were on a rotation from Travis Air Force Base in California. And then we have monitoring equipment specific to CCAT is that our team allows us to minimize the footprint in theater by allowing us to rapidly deploy, evacuate sick patients out of theater and taking them back stateside or to a higher echelon of care. The advance in critical care transport added up to thousands of lives saved. CCAT teams flew more than 5,800 missions, and 99% of the patients on board those flights survived. 